And I don't mean like cleaner. Like I don't mean like you just clean the floor or something with some bleach. No, no, no. Yeah, I don't like that at all. That's frustrating to me. That's really frustrating. It makes me want to leave the moment I come in. When that's what I smell first. But I mean, you can, when people walk over and they, and they smell like they just open the bottle and just pour it on them. Fucking candles. There's... Gross. I remember so many people used to smell like that in high school. Hello everyone, my name is Isis Elliot, and welcome to literature in your head. The series where I just get lit and then do whatever the fuck I want. Now, today, we're gonna talk about fragrance. I'm going to drink on this champagne, but I'm pretty lit. Um, but we're going to talk about fragrances today. As in um, personal fragrances or like house fragrances. Because I have several problems with people's fragrances. Number one, you know what I hate? I hate when people's houses smell like soap. And I don't mean like cleaner. Like I don't mean like you just clean the floor or something with some bleach. No, no, no. I mean when people's houses smell like bath soap, like smells like a bar of soap. That is the worst. I don't, I don't like that. That is terrible. I don't know why anyone has that. Um, it's not good. I don't like it at all. Yeah, I don't like that at all. That's frustrating to me. That's really frustrating. It makes me want to leave the moment I come in when that's what I smell first. It's really not good. I really don't like it. Number two, I hate when people have overpowering ass fragrances. Do not walk up to me and then two seconds later I'm like <laughs> looking like fucking Spongebob in the fucking episode where he tries when he first goes to fucking Sandy's fucking place. <laughs> All that bullshit. Don't fucking have me looking like that. Frustrating. Now I like when people walk over and I smell them. Like if you walk over and then a couple seconds later I have like a cloud of your smell and it's like just it's just wonderful that's okay as long as it's at a at a point where i can smell it but if i need to like have some fresh air i can like you know breathe a little deeper and i'll get something else you know what i mean that's okay but if you have an aura of a smell that's that's okay as long as it's a good smell but i mean you can when people walk over and they and they smell like they just open the bottle and just pour it on them when people when people when people smell like that i have a problem that's frustrating. It gives you a headache. You get frustrated. If you're trying to eat, some, if you're trying to eat, oh my god. If you're trying to eat and you have to sit right next to someone. I don't know if you guys have ever had to sit not right next to people like that before. I've had to sit right next to two fucking people at a buffet before that both smell like overpowering fucking cologne. And my food tasted like their cologne. I was so frustrated. Don't do that. That's annoying. What else? What else is there? In your house. Your house, I, th I think people's houses should smell like something. I don't like when people's houses don't smell like anything. Like if it smells like something, like clean, cleanliness, cleanliness, like it always smells like cleaning supplies, that's okay. That's a smell I can do, the sterile kind of, you know, clean smell. I can do that a little bit. Um, but there's so many ways to make your house smell like something. It shouldn't just smell like nothing. Or one of those houses that smells like nothing but almost about to smell like a musky. Or like you can almost smell like their trash. Because it doesn't smell like anything, you can smell like their trash. Or like their cat's litter box. Or you can smell... Don't like that. Your house should smell like something. There are so many ways that your house can smell like something. You have oils. There are diffusers. There's burners. There's incense. There's fucking candles. There's everything. There's just the spray kind. There's little things you twist open and just leave in a corner. There's the plug-ins. There are so many ways for your house to smell like something. It just shouldn't smell like nothing. It just shouldn't. Like our house smells um, like, normally like vanilla mixed with like holiday spices, like cinnamon and nutmeg and a little rosemary. Cause um, we have these, we burn, we melt these wax things um and we have one that's like a really heady vanilla ice cream type one um but it just really it to me it just tastes like a like a cake like a vanilla 
a cake that's like baking. And then the other one's called Spice Market and it just like smells like I said. And we mix them together and they melt together and they smell amazing. And if those aren't burning, we spray the Febreze, the one that kills odors and makes it smell like something and it smells like, uh, I forgot. But if it doesn't smell like something, I always like start something. So it smells like something. I don't like when people's houses just don't smell like nothing. There's just so many ways for your house to smell like something. Same thing about people. I, I kind of, not all the time, you don't always have to have a fragrance on, but I think if you're going somewhere, like if you're going out, you should kind of put on a fragrance. It's like a, it's like a thing about your entire being. Like when people walk up to you and they meet you for the first time, if you look good, you sound good, and you smell good, it's like one of those things you remember. Because I don't know if you've realized, but when you walk up to someone for the first time and they smell good, you always remember that that person smelled good. At least for me and like people I know, it seems like to be a thing. You just always remember that someone smelled good. And it's because not many people fucking do it in normal like company, which is just weird. And people should do it more because if you smell like something, not only is it like a memorable thing about you, like this is your scent type thing, but it's just like you have more of a presence wherever you are, you just have more of a presence. It's amazing, it's amazing. You demand more respect, please. Um, and yeah, I don't, just avoid those heavy soap smells. Like, even people, like people, if you wash with like that heavy soap, that shit sticks on you. You might, you might not smell it because you'll get used to it. Um, but people around you will smell that shit. Like, if they just sit beside you and you use this fucking, that, just, you know that soap. That bar soap that's like, it has that smell that like, ugh, a lot of old people have it in their homes. But they don't, it's like not a soap they use or they use that with something else and they like wash it off. But it's like when, it's like when young people come to their house and use it, they don't do that. They just fucking use that shit and nothing else. They don't fucking brush that smell off. So they just end up smelling all day like a fucking, ugh, almost like a, one of those toilet bowl things that turns the water blue. They just smell like that all day. Hmm. Gross. Gross. I remember so many people used to smell like that in high school. At my high school. Probably because, like, like I said, their parents had it or something and they didn't know what the fuck to do. Mm -hmm. It's unfortunate. It's disgusting. And I don't like it. Banished. This video is short and sweet and I think I want to leave it short and sweet. I like her. I like short and sweet. So I think she's gonna, she's gonna stay here, I think. This is her home. This is her place. This is where she was meant to be. She was meant to be right here in this moment, in this time. She was meant to be here. But yeah, um, I love you guys. Love yourself, you're fucking beautiful. You are gorgeous. You can be anything you wanna be normally most of the time as long as you're not crazy or lazy, you know? If you're either one of those, then I don't know. But if you are one of those, you know, seek help. There's help for crazy, there's help for lazy. So if you don't seek either, then it's your fucking fault. You can't be whatever the fuck you wanna be, bitch. It's your fault then. Anyway, I love you guys. Uh, love yourselves, you're beautiful. Um, I will not ever flip one of these people off with a drink in my hand because it's just disrespectful to my alcohol. I just won't, I just won't do uh, Fuck Trump. And fuck white supremacists. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I love you guys. Um, there'll be another one of these soon. Shop. I should have so many of these stockpiled by now. I don't even know where the fuck when you're getting this, but I love you guys. Bye.